but Firestorm has a Shreemek. It can self right powerful than that of Facet, it has to be said. But Moving swiftly on to Firestorm. <laughs> Wait, go on, go on, let's okay. do it together. It has a chum and a and a, and a So look out for all of that working. From Durham. Firestorm. Two old school friends from the Groundhog team in the last series returned with one motor from a lawnmower, another from a cordless drill, a flipping Shremek arm, hardened aluminium shell, and Firestorm is smoking. I'm Graham Bourne. And I'm Alex Mudgy. And this is our robot Firestorm. It's a wedge shaped robot, um, runs at 36 volts, and it's got on go kart tyres. Um, it's got three main weapons. It's got these belts on the front where you're going to need someone, the belt to pull them up, onto the arm, and the arm will push them over. The arm will also self right us, so if we get tipped over, we can flip ourselves back over. We've also got this spike at the back. Robot ears, stand by. There's Crasher Nasher, the pickup team. Little Jack's a Manchester United fan, so is his cousin Tom Duggan and Firestorm. Three, Graham Bone two, and Alex Morgan. One. Activate. Alex with the controls of Firestorm, a wedge shaped robot slamming into Crasher Nasher. Turning the shark up and over. Hardly a minnow firestorm, or you wouldn't expect this sort of damage against a shark. <laughs> against the arena wall, a great cloud of smoke from somewhere. Look at this power and base. Bang! The shark is bitten and bitten badly. Crusher, Nasher, gnashed up, I should think. Bashed up, certainly. And there's nothing left in that. In comes Bash, hauling the shark away to the depths of Robot Wars Oblivion. The camera on dead metal, the saw of dead metal. The punishing, ooh, squeeze ability of the house robots on Crash and Asher. Firestorm, good driving by Alex Mordew, fine power. There again, slicing through the little wheel of the Crash and Asher team. Dead metal. Oh. <laughs> Cease. Off comes the wheel. Well, the most lethal thing they normally do is play badminton. They're more dangerous here. The poor kids. Oh, the young lads are out. Looks like fish is off the menu. Firestorm, turn up the heat. Stand by. The currents are strong out there on the arena floor. Facet. Three. Near the firestorm. Two, hopes of Graham and Alex. Activate. The vivid yellow and red colours. The speed, though, of Facet is frightening. And also that front lifting hydraulic ramp in underneath firestorm. A great yawning mouth opens. That I think could be its Achilles heel as well as a yawning mouth. There's Firestorm in underneath Facet there. Two very speedy robots. But Facet up to 48 miles an hour. We simply have never seen anything as quick as this before. And there the great lifting ramp, but Firestorm has a streamer. It can self right itself as well as flip. Does so. Turns to come in again. It's a real feature of this series of Robot Wars. All credit to Rex Garrard, who invented it in the last series, the Shreemek, the self-writing mechanism. Up and over Firestorm, ready to do battle again. Prodding against Facet. Two similar wedge shapes again. How many robots have we seen come through the pits with wedge shapes this series? The levering arm of Firestorm, less powerful than that of Facet, it has to be said, but pushing up against the arena wall, Ah, now look at this. They're on their side and too close to the arena wall, but not close enough to get the great levering ramp to self right themselves. And I think Facet have been done here by Firestorm. And it's a question now of whether the house robots will do Firestorm. And in comes Killalot. Oh, and there's the damage I thought might happen. The great yawning mouth of Facet too wide. And in comes Killalot with that penetrating lance. He's on fire. Cease. And Facet beaten. Well, what a fight that was. The winner's obviously Firestorm team. Firestorm crew, tell me, are you ready? We are, yes. Yep. Yeah? Yep. In every way, shape and form, 
So, yeah, should be. But you know you're battling madness? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. So, wh- yeah, so how do you battle madness? madness? I mean, you, where, where do you know where to start? Well, With just, madness? Yes. Obviously. Okay. Mad All right. tactics for uh, mad people. And I'll give you a clue, right? They've got their sunglasses on, they can't see a thing. Ah, right. Robot ears, stand by. Custom. Good word for your tour today. Their robot pulled apart by the customs. They put it together again. And look, more fur after the fire of the heat semi-finals. There, of course, the firestorm boys against them. One. Activate. The Dubliners done well to repair your tour. It's got the little trophy from the Steel Avenger, the Feather Duster as well, and immediately Firestorm trying to leave a Diotor up and over. Where do they get all this polka dot fur from? I know one of the team members, Zulu, Karen Byrne, they, they rip and wears red and black fluffy underpants as well. Maybe he's got a secret store. He'll need something, certainly, because Diotor's up and over. The judges look on. They'll be impressed by that sudden attack from Firestorm. And there... The lifting mechanism flicks Diotor up and over. Diotor, of course, has its own hydraulic arm. Now onto the flame pit. The lick of flame. The smile obliterated. The dead metal camera records it all. Once again, the splendid entertainers from Dublin's Fair City are left feeling hot under the collar and Firestorm about to take on dead metal. Dead metal sparking away there. Metal being burnt. The fur flickers, but not the life force inside Diotor, I'm afraid. Kill a lot. To finish it off with a coup de grace, perhaps. In goes the lance. In underneath the lifting mechanism of Diotor, enabling Kill a lot to lift it, hoist it, and push it towards, well, Bash wants some fur. That's just getting cold out there. Now is the winter of Diotor's discontent, certainly. If it is a wee bit chilly on the arena floor, the Firestorm boys look on. And I think we're about to see the mighty arena flipper. Diotor writing. It's not all right. It's all gone wrong for the boys of Dublin. What a story, but Firestorm worthy winners. No doubt about that one. Firestorm hot stuff through to our series semi-finals. Well done to the Firestorm boys. The fairy story ends for Diotor. The crowd have loved them to the very last minute. In the very first seconds of the heat final, though, that the damage. Flipped up from the arena floor, bouncing and burning. Where there's smoke, there's fire. That was pretty magnificent. Wasn't it? Gobsmacked. <laughs> you both are? Yeah. yeah. Really thought they'd win. Got you got souvenirs. Oh, you, oh, that's mean. Well, they gave oh. them to us. You have the Diator eye. <laughs> you have the Diator fur, complete with lucky shamrock. Or is it a shamrock? Well, it is a shamrock. Yeah. Well, it's not very. It's lucky, not very is it? lucky, is it? <laughs> well, well done. You are series semi finalists. How do you feel? Very good. Fantastic. Good. It's the show that RoboCop deplores, cos we're good after three sequels of Robot Wars. Bye-bye. <laughs>